Hi guys, it's Legionero back with another video. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and everybody who keeps coming back each time I post a new video. So in my random Saturday vlog, I went to Joann's. I don't think I showed you that in the vlog, but I went to Joann's <laughs> and they had Butterick and Vogue on sale. So I want to do a quick pattern haul to show you what I got. Of course, I was shopping for me and mommy. So I'll let you know which ones are for her, which ones are for me. Um, let me show you what I got. All right, so the first one is Butterick 6857. All right, um, this is for mommy. I think it's a really cute top. I did look at it, but I think um, because I have that simplicity pattern that I did the tutorial on here on the channel, I'll link it below. Um, I feel like I have a top that's just close enough to this already. Although I do like this one, this view A. Um, but the one with the collar, I think that's why I didn't get one for myself. But um, I do like view A. And I don't know if you can see it on the picture. It has buttons on the shoulders. So that's super cute. <laughs> And that's 6857. I'll put the numbers in the description box below for you. Um, the next one is 6862, right? And this is a blazer. Um, <laughs> for some reason, I don't remember mommy asking for this. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't grab the wrong pattern and was supposed to grab another number. But um, this is a blazer. If she doesn't want it, I'll keep it and maybe pull it out one day. Who knows? But um, this is a blazer a jacket pattern. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, and I think it's too big for her anyway. This is too big size. All right, maybe she did ask for this. I don't remember. Um, 68, 62. <laughs> See what happens when you come home and I'll tell you. Right, the next one is 68, 59. This is a top pattern and a dress pattern. And also, oh, it has the skirt on here as well. Um, I got this for me and mommy because I like a good, easy, quick and easy top. It also has pants on here. I didn't realize. So this is like an all around pattern. <laughs> you got shirt, skirt, pants, dress. All right. So this has everything. All right. Um, the top is what caught my eye, but yeah, I'll definitely be making this and this might um, get me back into the tutorial mood. All right, because it looks like it's, it's very easy. It looks very easy and straightforward. Looks like it has the raglan sleeve, so it can be color blocked if you want it to be. Um, so yeah, that's the line drawing on the back. And looks like it has joggers, my favorite thing. <laughs> right, another pattern. I got one for me and one for mommy. Um, 6784, right? I like it because um, it has like that bubble. I call it a bubble shape, I like the bubble shape to it. Um, it does have a lot of sections in it, so it can be color blocked. But mom, she loves the um, stripe version here. And let me show you the back of it. That's the line drawing. So you see how many pieces it has. <laughs> That's the part that's, that's kind of throwing me off, but it's cool. Right. I think it's a, a cute dress. And those stripes really are cute. So, Mommy said, so now I have an excuse to buy some more fabric. <laughs> um, next one is 68.56. This is a button down top. This is for Mommy. Um, Y'all know I still haven't ventured into buttons yet, but I will. I will this year in 2022, <laughs> all right? Um, 6856, um, that is the line drawing. The next one is um, 6681. Uh, mommy wanted something that buttoned down the back. So I found this pattern. That's the line drawing so you can see how it buttons down the back, um, 6681. So looked up and found that i know new look has a pattern um that buttons down the back i made my 
Dragon Con birthday dress out of my Marvel fabric um, using that new look pattern. I can't think of what it is right now, but super cute pattern by new look. If I remember, I'll link it in the description box below and I'll pop a picture on the screen. Y'all know I'm forgetful. Um, <laughs> All right, so the next one is for mommy as well. Um, Butterick 63.94, right? She wanted um, like a duster cardigan type thing, something that was um, easy, that didn't take up a lot of fabric. So I think view A is the one that she was looking at for this, All right, which is super cute. Then we got one from me and mommy, Butterick 6466. Um, I may very well have this in my stash because this is this is not a new pattern. This is um this has been out for a while, but I love I love this. And um the line drawings here at the top. I love the way it flares out. I think that's super cute. Um uh, let's see. I didn't show you the line drawings on this one, the 63.94, but here's the line drawings on those. The next one for mommy, another duster type thing, um, 61.76, right? Um, they actually named this a kimono. Um, so that's that. Um, make sure you can see the number 61.76. And this is the back here, all the different views. All right. And the next one is for me because as it starts to warm up outside, I want to um, make myself some workout pants. Um, I have plenty of fabric for it. I just need to make them. Um, I have this pattern, but I have it in the smaller size. Um, so it's Butterick 6460. And there's a lot of different views. Um, I'm mostly um, probably view D here. Um, that doesn't come all the way down to my ankle, but I'm short, so it might come down to my ankle anyway. <laughs> I'm, I don't care too much for shorts. Um, and then if mosquitoes are out, they bite my leg. So I will probably, probably be focused on D um the shorter ones um not the shorts but the shorter ones and oh i need to look in here and make sure all the pieces are here because it looked like somebody was gonna buy this and they, <laughs> and they wrote on the back of it i didn't even see this while i was in the store um so hmm Looks like they were writing down the amount of fabric that they were gonna <laughs> need to make it. But it doesn't look like the pattern has been cut or anything, so it should still have everything in here. If not, back to Joanne's, it goes. All right, so the next ones are Vogue patterns. So we got Vogue 1841. This is, y'all know this is for mommy. <laughs> so um, this is one that she had been, um, she wrote it down. She probably saw it on somebody's haul video. She wrote it down. But every time I went into Joann's, they didn't have it. Um, and they finally had it. So uh, it's Vogue 1841. And this is what it looks like on the line drawing. All right. This is a pattern Vogue 1312. I made this um, when I first first started sewing I made this and I made it in like a tan knit fabric a ponty knit fabric which I will admit was way too heavy for the bottom I made this view here um, I'll pop a picture on the screen if I remember <laughs> but this goes better with a um, let's see if they put it on here it says lightweight fabric so lightweight denim um, is a gabardine, linen, a uh, wool jersey, or a lightweight double knit. But I used a ponty knit and it was, I, the bottom, it was way too heavy for the bottom. But when I tell you that dress was a hit, <laughs> 
So um, I replaced the pattern. I needed a larger size. So I do want to make this again um, here coming up soon. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this. I might even still have it because um, I, I loved it so much. I didn't want to let go of it. And it was one of the first patterns that I made on my own because I, when I first started sewing, I would actually draft my own patterns. I was following Mimi G. And you know, a lot of her things, especially her easier things, was self-drafted, like the maxi skirt, the pencil skirt, um, or I bought some of her old, old courses where she would show you how to draw out your patterns. So when I first started sewing, I was either copying clothes that I had in the closet already, or I was um, following videos to make my own patterns. So I do believe this is not the first pattern I made. The first pattern I made, um, my mom helped me. I, when I told my mom I wanted to sew, I, I drove home that weekend. We went and got everything I needed and we made my first pattern. Um, but this, I believe, is the first one that I pulled out on my own. Mommy was up here, but she was out with my sister and my niece. And I was just in such a hurry to make this dress. So this is the first one that I made completely on my own. Um, I do believe it is supposed to have a lining, but I couldn't figure out the lining. So it was knit fabric. So I just left the lining off and it also has a side zipper. But again, knit fabric. <laughs> I didn't even add the zipper. So hopefully I remember to pop the picture up. Um, the dress was a huge hit. Um, anywho, this next. Oh, and I talked so much about it. It's Vogue. Uh, 1312. I know I said it in the beginning. Here's the line drawing. All right. Super cute. And then last but not least, Vogue 1686. I saw this pattern. 1686. I saw this pattern on um, Main Course. Um, her YouTube channel. I'll link it below. Um, she made this pattern um, and I I saw it. I was like, that is super cute. <laughs> so and I was like, the next time Vogue goes on sale, I'm going to buy it. So that's the line drawing. And it also has pants with the elastic waist. Y'all know I'm all about that elastic waist life. <laughs> elastic waist pad. That is my jam. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I really like um, this top, how it has like the split on the side. I think that is super duper cute. I, you know, if you want to go super sexy like the girls are doing now with your hip out, <laughs> they are doing it nowadays. Um, this would be a really cute pattern. Of course, I would wear something up under it. Um, I'm not that confident <laughs> or that bold. Um, did you see? Um, so the brat. Uh, if you don't know who that is, she's a rapper. Short story. <laughs> um, 1995, I remember it was either 94 or 95. I graduated from high school in 1995. And I can't remember if her song Funkify came out in 94 or 95, but it was my favorite. I hadn't like really liked a female rapper since MC Light, Queen Latifah, those ladies. And when the brat came out with Funkify, that was my jam, okay? <laughs> um, so, say all that to say, the brat got married, um, and her wife, um, her wedding gown had the hip out. It, her gown looks nothing like this pattern. I'm just saying her hip was out in the gown. So, um, that's what that made me think of when I said, you know, the girls are now, they're going out with the high splits and the hips out. Y'all have seen stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's what made me think about the brat and all of that. Um, but I will say the brat's wedding gown, it was amazing. I mean, it had like a tuxedo feel. It was white, um, had like a tuxedo type feel on the top and it was kind of fitted at the hips and then it had like the little ruffle floor and I'm not a ruffle person at all. But when I say her her dress, magnificent, okay? <laughs> I, you know, 
anyway um just went off on a tangent that's how much i really like that dress <laughs> it's super cute uh it was it was masculine but feminine at the same time um because you you know you you rarely see the brat in like dresses and stuff like that she's very um comfortable in her clothing um you know comfortable fitting clothing she's, if you know the brat you know what i'm talking about um so wedding gown was spectacular anyway <laughs> so those are the patterns again that's vogue um 1686 um i think i showed you the back already all right um those are all of the patterns um that i picked up this weekend um for the butterick and vogue sale i hate i missed the mccall's sale that they had recently because i think they put out new patterns don't quote me on that um but my car was down so i couldn't make it to joanne's or maybe i did have one day i think my was it last week was my car on sale last week i don't remember if it was on sale last week my car was back up saturday afternoon and i just did not feel like driving to joanne's um because mom and dad came last saturday yeah um but yeah <laughs> I was down after that <laughs> but anyway i'm sure it'll be they'll be back on sale within the next couple of weeks and um i can pick up some mccall's patterns um i think i think they had a few things that i wanted i can't be sure you'll see if i do a haul video when they go back on sale <laughs> um i think i kind of need to um back up on pattern shopping um i didn't get too many for myself in here um I, the things that i got i think are things that i will probably make um no problem um uh, anywho i feel like i'm getting ready to start rambling so <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments if you have any of these patterns if you made any of these patterns um and question of the day do you prefer hot food or cold food um mm, that's a good question i think i'm 50 50 because there are some days i just want something cold like a nice cold crisp salad um yeah but then you know <laughs> I, yeah i think i'm in between i think i don't think i have a preference of, of whether i like one more than the other i probably eat hot food more than cold food um, probably just the way it just shakes out, but I do, I think it's 50, 50. Um, if I could find a good, um, nice salad, like, um, I used to love to go get, um, mellow mushrooms when they, you build your own salad. Um, but of course the more ingredients you put on there, the higher the salad get. And I was like, I could take this money to the grocery store and eat salad for days. <laughs> just buy all the ingredients. Um, but you know, splurge on yourself every now and then, but yeah, I don't think I like more one more than the other. So <clears throat> let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. Do you prefer hot food or cold food? Best cold food is ice cream. <laughs> All right. So if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified each time I post a new video and I will see you in the next one.